Today we're going to talk about four of the five ways in which to play the drum. We've talked about a full stroke. We're now going to add the down stroke and the up stroke. And we have also talked a little bit about tap. So we full stroke and tap. We've talked about those two. We're going to add the down stroke and the upstroke as well. The full stroke that we've talked about in band camp is where the stick is going to travel all the way back up. So if I play eight right full strokes, it's going to look and sound like this. Okay. Now, normally after the eighth one, I actually end on a down stroke because it ends down. So watch what happens. Here are the full strokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I actually stopped it down. So to do a downstroke, you can also go like this. You can lift it, play down, lift, down, lift, down. The downstroke, I don't let it rebound all the way back up. I control it and I stop the stick two or three inches off the drum. Those would be our downstrokes. So we have our full stroke. And if I stop it down, we ended with a down stroke. So again, full strokes. End it so it's down. Now, if we have a down stroke, we also have an up stroke. An up stroke is, starts out as a tap, you barely hit the drum, and right after you do that, you lift the stick back up. So we have an up stroke. Sometimes it's called a tap up, because you tap and then you lift it up. So up, down, up, down. And then our taps were those that were two to three inches off of the drum. You can probably already hear that the full stroke and the down stroke are louder and the upstroke and taps are softer. So full strokes would be louder, downstroke also loud, taps are soft, upstroke also soft. Full strokes, down, taps, up. So those are our four different ways in which to play on a snare drum. We have full strokes, we have down strokes, we have up strokes, and we have taps. You can also do them with the left hand. Full strokes. Down. I left that down after that eighth hit. Let's do that again. Eight lefts. Ready? Five, six, seven, you can do some taps. And then an up. Let's try that again. Taps, and then an up. Ready? And. And on the eighth one, I did an upstroke. So you can practice those all individually. We'll use them much more throughout the school year, but that is basically getting you started on full strokes downstrokes, upstrokes, and tap strokes. This is Mr. Stockard, and we will see you tomorrow.